This message today is for you. I'm gonna explain something to you, boy. And I'm gonna give a quick testimony right quick. My life, I ain't never really followed God like that. You know what I'm saying? And this 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 video for all the misfits, all the people that, that was growing up in school and people thought you was weird. This for all the misfits, this for all the people that that, you know what I'm saying, that folks thought you were strange, you know what I'm saying, folks that were bullied, like the outcasts and stuff like this. This is what this video for. You know what I'm saying? Because God love the misfit. That's why he picked me, because it's a lot of times. Because see, when you follow God, it's so hard to keep your face sometimes because you be going through so much. You be going through all this spiritual warfare. And you be going through this stuff arguing with people in your family. And then they think you crazy for following God. They think you crazy for the fire that you got. They think you crazy for the passion that you got for God. But the reality is the devil working through them because the devil trying to take out that fire that you got. He trying to destroy your passion that you got for God. Because the devil fear passion. The same way folks go to a basketball game or a football game, the crowd they going crazy is because they're passionate about their team. The devil fear when you got passion because when you got passion, he know he can't do nothing to stop you from following God. Mm, Jesus. It's like I see the devil. He, it's like he trying to blow out the fire and believers. But it's like I see all I feel the spirit. It's like I see all me believers with the arm of God and they got this fire blazing. And I see like a ring of fire. And I see all these demons. They trying to come. And it's like the demons drop into the floor every time they touch that fire. Because let me tell you something. When you keep fire for God, can't nothing on this earth stop you. Can't no devil in here stop you. He opened doors. God opened doors. No man can shut it. He shut doors. No man can open. It say Revelation 3.20. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and let me in, I come in with him and sup with him and he with me. If he knocking on the door, you better let the Lord and save you in because he want to save your soul. He want to save, seal, and sanctify your soul to the day of redemption. You feel me? Because that's what I had to do. He was knocking on my door for the longest. And I ain't let him in. But it was something that happened in my life one time, boy. It was when my car got messed up. And I ain't know what to do. And I said, Lord, I'm going to let you in. And I'm going to keep you in. Because once you let him in, you can't turn back. You can't afford to turn back. Because if he done brought you this far, you can't imagine what he got planned for you the next couple years for you. Jesus Christ is the reason I'm still here today. This walk tough. It's been a lot of times I want to give up. It's been a lot of times I ain't want to be. It's been a lot of times I want to turn my back on God. But I know I can't do it because I know he using me to be that daily sacrifice that I need to be to help lead his people. Because the calling that he placed on my life, I know I got to be, I know I got to rise up and be a stand up soldier for his people. The same like Joshua, the same like Yahweh Shua. That's what I be doing, but you know what I'm saying? Because the reason, and I don't say this to brag, I don't say this to boast, the reason a lot of folks watch is because I be so real and authentic because I let folks know what I go through. Because I ain't got it all together. I ain't perfect. I struggle with stuff the same as everybody else do. But I come to God humbly before the throne. I let him know everything that I go through with battle with and, and deal with and struggle with. And I ask him to take it away. Because once he take it away, I feel peace that surpasses all understanding that come up over me, boy. And that's what he want to do in your life. He want to give you peace that surpasses all understanding. It's like, yes, like I see him pointing like this. He said, I picked you because you was the misfit. He said, I picked you because you were strange. Because he loved people that people cast out. He loved people that people think is strange. He loved using the misfit. He loved using the people that ain't strong, that need to rely on him. For their strength. That's why he picked David. David was the smallest out of all his brothers. He said, I want him. That's why he picked Moses. Moses had a stuttering problem. He said, I want him. Moses went up to Pharaoh. He said, let my people go. David, he used David, a small shepherd boy to slay a lion, a giant, and a bear. That's what God do. He liked using the people. That's weak to shame the people that think that they strong without God. That's what he do. His message for you. If you feel like you've been broken hearted. He said he close to the broken hearted. If you feel like God ain't there. He always been there. If you feel like God abandoned you. He ain't never abandoned you. If you feel like you're weak. Rely on his strength. Because his strength. It come. 
and it go up inside of your body, and your strength come from him. That's what he do. That's what he do. He Jehovah Jireh, the provider. He Jehovah Nishi. He Jehovah Teniskanu. He Yah. He Yohebaba. He is Jah. He is the El Rohai. He is the mighty lion. He is the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. He the El Shaddai. He the great God Almighty. He Yeshua Hamashiach. He Yohebaba. He, he Emmanuel. He the El Shaddai. He the wonderful counselor. He the mighty God. He Jesus Christ. He Yahweh. He Yahshua Hamashiach. That's who he is, boy. He that sinless land that took on the sins of the whole world. He the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. And I keep that fire beside me because I know I'm a soldier in the list of the army of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm going to keep my faith to the day I die. Ain't nobody going to take my faith away, not even the devil himself. The devil can speak all these lies to you if he want to. But remember, it's best to believe in the truth of the person that loves you and that want to see you in heaven. Instead of believing in the lies of the person that want to see you dead and end up in hell. God want his children to rise up in these last days because we some soldiers, boy. I'm, I was out in the world, I'd be doing X, Y, and Z. You know what I'm saying? Trying to do this, trying to do that, trying to live my life. Worry about other folks. You know what I'm saying? All, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's what a young kid do. Try to get money, try to talk to all these girls, all this stuff like this. I ain't got time for that no more. Because God bless my life so much. Bless me with a wife. Bless me with a daughter. Bless me with a family. That's what it's all about. It ain't about chasing all these girls. It ain't about chasing money. Because when you chase the stuff, you're going to feel empty inside because you're going to keep having to feel like you got to chase it. And what it say? The blind lean the blind into the ditch. When you follow God, he'll give you something that's eternal. And he'll fill you with everything that you need. As a man now, as a man of God, I understand what it's like to be a true man, to truly walk this walk. So I get it. I get it when the devil, when it, when it feel like the devil throwing the kitchen sink at you, when he feel like he throwing all hell, when it's in all the witches doing all this witchcraft against you. Just know God got your back. And he see every single thing that you're going through. Cause see, I tell people all the time, people say, oh, I don't look like a Christian. People say, oh, you gotta get your tattoos and move this. I ain't worried about nothing. You know why? Because God look at the inward, man look at the outward. It ain't about how you supposed to look. It's about this right here, your heart. It's about what's on the inside. Man, they judge the outward. The Pharisees and the Sadducees, God said, if your, if your righteousness surpassed them, you ain't gonna see the kingdom of heaven. Y'all see the way I talk, I talk how I talk. But I follow God daily because I know what he want to do inside my life. Because he want me to help folks that's been in the same situation, act just like me, that's been like this, just like me. He want to help folks that's been in the streets. He want to get them folks off the street, fix them folks up, and send them back to the streets to minister to the people with the same situation they was in and help bring them folks to the kingdom of God. That's what he want to do, boy. God truly changed my life. And I'm going to keep that fire. And I promised them I'm going to keep that fire. And I ain't going to let nobody take my fire out because I keep my faith in the Lord Jesus Christ daily. I keep my faith up beside him daily. And ain't nobody going to take away my fire, boy. Promise you that. I know I'm a soldier. And when you walk in this walk, you can't see yourself just as a Christian. You got to see yourself as a soldier because the devil fears soldier. Because he feel when you're, when you're a soldier, when you were born again believer, you got power. He feel when people flow in power because they tearing up his kingdom. And that's what I do every day. I break the barriers of hell up in his kingdom. I tear up the kingdom of dogs. That's why he attacked me so much. But I don't care. I'm going to keep doing it. Because I can't wait for my Lord and Savior to tell me, well done, my good and faithful servant. That's what I do. And I do this for him. I don't do this for nobody else. I do this for my Lord and Savior because I live with everything I got. And I know for a fact he going to keep protecting me. I know for a fact the blessings of the Lord going to overtake me. He going to do the same for y'all. So I pray that y'all be blessed by this video. I pray that y'all be encouraged. I pray that y'all understand what it's like to be a true Christian. It ain't about how you talk. Because y'all see Paul was killing Christians. The next day God turned him into a soldier. It ain't about how you supposed to look. Because you can go to church. You can dress up all nice and fancy. Wear your suit and throw your little ties in the bathroom. But behind closed doors, you living like hell. You got folks out here tatted up all on their face. Folks are gangsters in the world. They came to Jesus. They truly living for them. That's what it's about. 
The heart right here, that's what God, he want folks that's true in the heart. Because he want to save, seal, and sanctify their soul to the day of redemption. That's what he want to do. And he going to do it. And he going to do a great work up beside you. And I pray for everybody on here. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that you will protect these folks. I pray that you will bless everybody watching this video. Because you know how I'm appreciative I ask that everybody watch my stuff, Lord God. Because it heal me out, Lord Jesus. I pray, Father God, that you will bless these folks exceedingly abundantly. And I pray that they'll be blessed in your name. In your mighty name we pray. Amen.